Hello everybody, welcome to the Rat Factory. Now it doesn't look much like Rat Factory, but it is the Rat Factory. If you've played Sniper Elite 3 then you'll know what this is all about. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the storyline because if you like this game you'll want to play it nonetheless. However, I'm setting myself a goal of trying to remain completely hidden in this game. Das ist ein langer Weg nach unten. To do that is going to be very difficult. I was hoping he was going to fall off the ledge because that was what it would have been good. So every time I get to a position where I can use my sniper rifle safely I will do so. This map is really good for that. I've played through it a couple of times. I know what the deal is. I'm going to try and kill as many people as possible. I'm not just going to skirt around people. I'm going to take them out because I'm an evil bastard. But what I will say is this. The difficulty is set to sniper elite which is the I think like setting 3 or setting Hello. 4 Echo. of difficulty you will notice that I will have um, the reticule when you uh, hold your breath and also tagging and stuff this isn't going to be super made difficult and stuff like that so we'll just, just go from there I like uh, the fact that you get a little bit of XP every time you tag enemies I'm also not sure um, how many, I think it's eight, that you can have all together. Tag as many people as possible, it's always useful. what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and cross here actually actually before I cross I'm going to take this guy out there is a reason for me doing that because as soon as I try and cross here then that guy is going to uh, spot me so I'm going to try to get across without getting spotted the um, the distance in which you can say run for it without getting spotted or heard is actually quite different in almost every circumstance and so I I'm going to try and uh, um, do my best just to not be spotted next crate eventually I want to take out those two people over there I tagged them for a reason because um, over here there may be some noise that I can use to kill them I'm hoping I'm hoping upon hoping we'll see first off I want to deal with this guy and then I'll go up top and deal with the next guy I could lure him but I'd rather not there's also a sniper nest up here that I haven't actually got yet, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to get some XP. That's fine. Right, I need to just be able to look over here. There we go, very nice, very nice. There's the sniper nest, it's kinda glowing nicely for you. Pick up some more stuff, see if I can get some more well rod ammunition because I'm going to need it. Yeah, there we go, that's lucky pretty much. So, oh, collect advanced weapon plans. Okay. Optional. Now, the problem I find with these sniper nests is, is that you can snipe in here or you flaming well want, but if there's no sound to mask your shots, then what the hell is the point? So I'm going to wait here a, a minute or so, f tag as many enemies as I can, 
but generally I'm not going to be able to do much from here because I won't be able to uh, actually shoot anyone. I'm at six of eight. Six of eight. <laughs> so yeah. I wonder if you can. That'd be that'd be quite a cool feature if you could snap, snap the wires and uh, get the bridge to fall. But I don't think that's possible. So. Right. Okay. Let's see if I can get to a position. Let's have a quick look on the map. Doesn't give me any information whatsoever. Right. So basically, it turns out that coming over here is almost absolutely pointless because uh, there's no way round. There's no like ladder or anything. You have to cross the bridge. Uh, there's no point in me crossing that bridge because as soon as I move I'll probably get spotted. So what I'm going to do is just run because I can. Up into here. I could go along the gangway but there's no point. So I'm going to move back again. Don't look down. Do you know what disappoints me a little bit about this game is that um, the graphics go are really good to a certain point, and then they're just kind of cheap. Like the floor of that, there is just it just looks a bit cheap and nasty. But generally, the game looks pretty nice. I mean, it's not a massive upgrade from Sniper Elite Two, but it's generally generally been improved. I'm just double checking something there. I was just wondering about actually moving down. So this is going to be a tricky thing here because I'm going to have to kill both of these very quickly. So the best thing I can do is to definitely I can definitely kill him for a shot because he hasn't got a helmet on. So I'll do that now. But the second one I need to do really quickly. That played out pretty good. Are there, are there any plans over here that I can take hold of? There's a map. I can't stand up there. In all honesty, I do want to do, like, I want to get 100% in this game because it's a game that I've looked forward to for quite a while now. And, um,. It's taken a while for me to kind of be able to play it because obviously I've got a job. Right. This is where I'm going to start to be able to shoot because I've now got sound, i.e. something to cover the shots. Problem is, now I'm going to say this now, some of the sounds don't actually really work in the game. There's a problem with the 5.1 surround sound and all this sort of stuff. So the sound sometimes appears after the actual graphic that pops up on your thing. So, But there are some keys. So here we go, let's start killing stuff. So we're going to take it very easy. We're going to try and take out people that won't lead people. Okay, I can now work out as well that that lasts long enough for at least two shots, maybe even three, but I'm not going to push three. I'll wait for the next kind of... If I relocate, I get a nice little bonus. So there we go. So I'm going to lay down here, and I am going to notice there was a second man there which I didn't spot before so I'm going to spot him get me a little bit more XP right this one's going to be difficult I need to do this at the, at the same time so one use the same there we go so they're alerted I haven't been spotted they're alerted 
to a certain degree. I've still got ghost, I'm still in a good state. Oh. I don't want to risk it now. There's one guy. You see, he doesn't know where I am, so. So the noise, this noise here, it's like a clunk. You can hear it like a clunk, 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 and then it'll start doing the big kind of noisy, noisy section. So there we go, there's the clunk. And then I can really focus. Oh, I've reduced the amount of um, cam, uh, what's, the, what's the, uh, the bullet cam, as it were, so that you guys don't get bombarded full of... Shit, basically. Right, this is going to be difficult, so let me tag the enemies. Now, another thing as well that you don't notice until you make a mistake, and that is that depending on where you're actually positioned in the um, map, you won't actually be able to get some of the sounds. Some of the sounds will not work properly. So what I'm going to do is I may be able to, uh, yeah, if I, if I go to this here, I might be able to wreck this one. Yeah. So what annoys me about this game, I think, is the fact that there are three dead bodies here. And I know for a fact that at least one of those people has seen those dead bodies. Now, if it was me, I wouldn't just be stood there like this, alright? I would not be stood there. I'd be walking around trying to find out what's going on, or I'd run away, depending on how inclined I was to stick around. Right, there's the clunk. There's the first one. We can take that one down quite nicely. Nice. Take the second one. We've got a third one. I won't risk anymore. Right. They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. And the clunk start. Again, again. There we go. Just in case people are wondering what weapon I'm wear uh, wearing, or what weapon I'm using, it is the Lee Enfield Mark III. Uh, I've upgraded the um, the barrel, but not any. Well, and the uh, firing mechanism or the uh, trigger. I've not done anything else. So he's alerted, not to me, but to the fact that there's something. Oh. Okay, so this could get tricky here, so I've got to be careful. So, keep it cool, keep it calm. I can't see anybody yet. What noise? So if anyone pops out, I can... Oh. I wanted... I wanted a one-shot kill. Every kill so far has been a one-shot kill. Still can't see me. I'm pretty good place. Come on, give me the sound. Give me the sound. Give me the sound. That circle will start turning red. I've got the sound. Excellent. Take that damn shot. Excellent. Right. I'm now going to relocate because I want the little ghost bonus that you get when you relocate. Okay. Let's see if there's any ammo on this fella. A little bit of ammo. Got to be careful. See, now I haven't got the sound anymore. Which is unfortunate. Even though the sound's still playing over there, it won't mask my shots, which is 
understandable. Over here it may do, so let's just wait for a second, see what happens. See what I mean? He goes a bit bonkers for a second and then and then, then just walks away casually as if nothing's happened. Nothing to see here. No dead bodies or anything, you know. Nothing funks going on. Once I've killed this German fella, this officer, as it were, I am going to I just have a quick look around to see if I'm... Oh. He came back a lot sooner than I thought. There we go. Right. <clears throat> so there is a another sniping nest here. I have one already in the sense that I have found one. Oh, what the hell? But I can't seem to find the other one because there is another one here next to it may be that it's oh got to be careful here got to be careful it's not down there is it there is no sound over here so I'm going to have to well rod him I'm going to rod him right up his bum hole <laughs> see that's where one sniper nest is that you walk all the way around up to the top over there but there is another one. I think it might be on top of, of, of that transformer, which is what you have to blow up. Before I do that, I want to find the other sniper nest, and I also want to have a look and see if there's any... Oh, don't be a fucking knob. Okay, I've just ruined that, so... Uh, let's start again. Right, so here I am. I've pretty much cleared everything I could do with getting that war document down there. A war diary, as it's called. If he comes close enough, I might be able to well rod him for me because he hasn't got a helmet on. I risk giving my position away like I just did a minute ago. He's in range. And I missed the first shot, but I get a second. Let's see if I can jump off here. Can I jump over there? I can't, can I? Right. Let's let's get the water. That is a thing I can pick up, isn't it? I'm just not being an idiot. There we go. Thank you. The reason why I do this is that they're all collectibles, basically. They're all things that I want, need to collect in order to get 100%. Now, if I don't, you know... If I don't do it, then you know what's the point of me playing this game? I don't think I've ever been down there on that map, so I may choose to go over there. Bef I've killed that guy. I'm now going to just quickly have a look for stuff. Glad. I'm really glad that um, once you've picked up the stuff, it it doesn't it doesn't stay there or anything. It's actually. Uh, actually goes so you don't if you do die or restart you don't actually have to keep coming back over here and collecting them when you collect it you collect it you know makes no sense whatsoever but when you collect it you collect it okay so here we are let's see if we can pick up some uh, tags before moving on there's one really far over there if you just it'll just tell you what the person's all about and what weapon they are holding and all that which uh oh I've just jumped off there hurt myself as you do maybe it's underneath I don't know it'd be a bit silly to be underneath wouldn't it Four out of eight. That's good. 
Just move the one over there. Excellent. Right. Oh, I've just fallen off there and yeah, alert them to my presence. So if I just stay here, uh, I won't get. So I wish I could swap hands as well. Right. Don't fuck up. 